Oh, jeez, my desk is dirty. I haven't cleaned this thing in a long time. Wow. Okay. Hey, guys. It's Carly. Uh, today, I'm going to be doing a tutorial for you guys, and I don't know really why I'm doing it, but I reached 400 followers and counting on Instagram, so as a little thank you, I thought I'd show you guys how I do my watercoloring. So the first thing you gotta do is figure out what you're painting. And I'm gonna be using the main character from Little Nightmares, which is an amazing game. All right, so you got the hood, your little arms, and a little raincoat. So now you just wanna, you wanna, you wanna trash it. It looked terrible, you didn't like it at all. It was, it was garbage. And it's okay to use your own sort of style and poses on things. Like me, I wanted to draw her holding the key because literally every time she picked up a key in the game, I was just like, oh my God, it's so cute. And there she is holding the key and I'm done. Just fast forward that a little bit. So now you're gonna get your water bottle. Now get your paintbrush and a thing to hold your water in that looks really gross. Wow, get your water and just ever so gently pour it in. Oh my, I thought I was gonna spill that, my bad. All right, so now you're gonna need your colors and um, just ignore that one. So now you're gonna need a light yellow and a dark yellow. And to go along with that first skin tone, you're going to need a gray and a black. And I mean, we might use a brown, but mm, I don't know. All right, so now you just want to very lightly dampen your brush. And when I say lightly, I mean don't soak that bad boy. All right, you don't need that much water. Then you're gonna rub it everywhere that you're planning on painting. And I break my painting into a section so it'll be easier on me later on. And the reason I do the water thing is so it'll help me spread the colors more evenly and it'll just not let the colors stick in one spot. And if you ever watched any of my other videos and you're like, yo, why is she just rubbing the brush all over the picture? It's not putting any color down, like, what are you doing, Carly? This, this is what I'm doing. Trust me, everything has its purpose, all right? And it just helps me, and it's a personal choice, like, you don't have to do it. All right, on to the actual coloring. You're gonna get that light yellow from earlier, and you're gonna put water onto it, and that'll help it just break down the color and actually get it onto your brush. Now, once you do that, you're gonna put the paint where you put the water earlier, and I do this dabbing method, so it helps me, like, connect the dots and helps me spread the paint evenly. All right, now bada bing, bada boom, more color because I didn't put enough, boom, bing. All right, and now you're just gonna fan it like an old lady fans her face at church when she's really filling that sermon, more color. And just don't forget to, you know, fill in the edges because I do regardless, you can look at my art and see. Um, fill in any spots where you missed some colors. You want it evenly, like I can't stress that enough, make it even. All right, now while you're waiting on that to dry, feel free to get your phone and head on over to Instagram. And if you aren't following me, um, you can follow me, like if you want. Uh, I'm following over 2,000 people, and I can guarantee you only about 283 of those people aren't artists. All right, so once you're done with that and you've had yourself a nice little break, you're gonna move on over to the key, the head, and the feet. Now this is where the second color palette comes in because her skin is like very ashy and gray in the game or it appears to due to the lighting. Again, you're gonna wanna very lightly dampen your brush and um, once you've done that, grab your color palette and we're gonna be using the gray first. Now I'm gonna add a lot more water to it than I did the yellow because we're just going for really, really light gray. And whenever you come to something like the face where it's circular and it's in between space of something that's already colored, you might want to go ahead and already fill it in like I am doing to the ring too. Circles just prove to be a pain with my method of coloring. I got big, all these big color like my desk, they looking like a mouth. Woo! All these little kids running around, I can hear their stomachs crowd. Boom. So once you've got your base coats, you're going to move on to, you know, the big part, the shadows. And again, you're going to want to dampen your brush. Don't forget it. And for this dark yellow that we're using, we're gonna treat it the same as the gray because again, we don't want it to be too dark, we just want it to be noticeable. And you're gonna apply this everywhere that you know the light wouldn't reach it. So places that are sunken in or hidden, or just little places that you know you want shadow on. Just find your light source and uh, go with it. Now onto the coloring of the skin tone and the key. So to achieve this, we're gonna just use the black and uh, you wanna add water again because we don't want anything overwhelming on this. It's a very light piece. Boop. Beep. Boop beep. Next is the shadowing of the face. And this is a major part of the game because her face is never shown. And I really wanted to carry on that sort of creativity of it onto my piece. And you know, there wasn't any reference online. Boop. 
Now, if your shadows are looking kind of wonky like mine, just add some water to the end of your brush and just sort of work the colors into each other because I put too much of it, so it made kind of a really hard line that was really gross to look at, and tissues. Since we don't want our only color effect being a shadow, we're gonna add a little highlight to the edge of her hood. And to achieve this, we're gonna add white, and I barely put any water on my brush because you really need white to show up, and it's not like the dark yellow or the black or even the gray. It's really, really hard to get onto a brush. Like I know it looks like it's showing up well. That's just the water showing up on the painting. Like it didn't show up at all. I got it to work. So as I do for all of my art, I'm gonna be going around all the edges with a black marker that I randomly found. So the marker I was using to outline actually was really satisfying, but decided to go out on me. Look how satisfying this is. Like, look. When I wrote a song for someone's out there. satisfying right but then it goes out on me it goes on out on me right here like I couldn't even finish the head so I went and got another pin and it's the pin I've been looking for and my dad gave it to me and claimed it as his and said that he was loaning it to me when in reality it had been mine the entire time but anyway start spreading the news this is my pen. I have been using it so long, so long. Okay, I'm done. So now we're just gonna use this like nail thing that I have, but it actually doesn't work. So we're just gonna use it to get rid of like the paint. So that way, the pen will actually go down easier on the paper, and boom, bada bing. Bada bang, expressions, I got a new pen, boom, boom, happy. Now what I advise you to do is to add your own little hint of you to any piece you're doing. So since I generally do lines and just weird shapes, that's basically what I did. Just a whole lot of lines. Like look, line, 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 smaller lines, even smaller lines, and then we're done. I, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm really glad that we reached 400 followers. I can't wait for another milestone. And let me know if you want to see me do more stuff like this. Um, I really recommend checking out the game. There's other YouTubers that have played it, like Markiplier, Guy, some other people. But you can play it for yourself. And this is the end product. Bye.